procrastination celebration. How do I even start these anymore? It's been so long. Hello. Nope. I'm back. Let's get started. I'm gonna pull some things from my orange box. Wank. Dramatic reading of textbook. I hope that it focuses and you can see that. That's what I'm doing today. Let's see, am I doing something else with it? I kind of looked in here accidentally and saw what's on the bar. So let's see, let's see. No. Or on top of the world, which is how I feel right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm so clever. So, there's an issue with being a theater student. And that issue is as follows. My textbooks are plays. It's kind of hard to do a dramatic reading of a drama. It, it kind of takes the humor out of the whole situation. But, what I do have as a theater student is this really old book. Ontario Public School Arithmetic from 1911? 1910. I'm gonna read some examples for you and I'm gonna create a story off of them. Or you could just do the math and figure out what the question's actually asking. A farmer sold a farm for $6,579. And by doing so, lost $1,724. What did his farm cost him at first? At first, it cost him his wife. Next, his firstborn. Then, his left pinky. We're not going to get into that. There was an incident involving a cow, an axe, and a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm too funny. I make myself laugh. I'm gonna move on to the next thing. John Brown, James Jones, and Robert Robinson together went into business. Mr. Brown invested $7,937. Mr. Jones 3,987 more than that, and Mr. Robinson, 687 more than both. What was the total capital put into the business? Wait, what? More than both? How can you invest more than both when they invest different numbers? Wait, am I understanding this question wrong? Am I not smart in 1910? I bought a house for $4,268.90. What? Why is there 90 cents there? Why, when you're buying a house, are, there fa are they factoring cents in? Anyway, furniture for $790.07. Again, seven cents? Really? Carpeting for $300, $380.60. Okay, 60 cents makes a little bit more sense and made repairs on the house, which cost $307.04. Did I spend more money on repairs? No. It's a lot of money to put out. I don't ever want to spend that much money, and this is 1910. So like, judging for inflation, that $300 for repairs is probably like, I don't know, 10 billion now? I like this one because it's about a lady. And we all know I like ladies. Oh, I, this is a very feminist lesbian thing. Oops! A lady. After paying $23.85 for a shawl, 
$25.50 for a dress, $2.40 for gloves, and $4.08 for other articles. <laughs> other articles. I bet it's a vibrator. Wait, actually, if it's a vibrator for $4.08, I want to go back to uh, 1910. Thank you very much. They didn't have vibrators. They didn't have batteries. What kind of dirty joke can I make? That's accurate to 1910. Maybe it was a hand-carved dildo. Maybe it was drugs. Might have been weed. Or something. Anyways, she finds that she has $14.28 left. How much had she at first? Well, at first, she had a man. And then, he disappeared. We're not sure how he disappeared, but he left all his money to her. And she's spent it on traveling the world, seducing more men that then disappear, and seducing women that then disappear from their husbands, but appear on a mysterious island in Greece named Sappho. She's a lesbian, is what I'm getting at. I'm so funny. At a sale, there were sold nine pigs at eight dollars each? You can buy pigs for less than a dollar each in 1910? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going back to 1910. See ya! I think that's probably a good ending. I hope. Why did that not be a th state? <laughs> Shit. Garbage. Come back.